Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn how can you store the verification output that you get as a variable. Is it possible first of all? Can we, is there an option within the activity? If not, is there another alternative way to do that? Yes, of course. So we are going to learn this technique in this video. So why delay? Let's get started. And don't miss out to subscribe to my channel. Go to my channel homepage and click on the subscribe button beside the logo. And also you can click on the inverted triangle and click on this notification icons to stay updated. I am on my UiPath Studio and on the verify expression activity, is it possible to, you know, the output that we are getting, right? Is it possible to carry it to a variable? Now for that, let us learn few things. The very first thing I have told you, the result and expression in the previous video I have seen within the curly braces we were writing it. But that is only within the scope of while the activity is running. Below that, let's say if you are creating assign activity and try to add that, it won't give you any kind of output. Now in that case, how do you really achieve it? For that, all you do simply create a variable here. So let's say, let me create a variable called result. Okay, so this is the result variable. And this variable is of type Boolean. So I've created two, two variables. Let me delete one. Okay. So this variable is a Boolean kind of a variable. It always gives true or false. We have seen that in the previous video. Now the question is, how do I create a workflow? So within this right now, there's no such options to carry this output panel output that you see it here. To carry to a variable, there is no direct option in the output section. Only result is there at the moment. So how do I get it? Okay. For that, what we will do, we will use a if activity. And in the if activity, now for this, you need to have this message ready. Okay. Copy this message to a notepad. I'll tell you why. Just keep it ready. Verification failed. The expression output this is the format. Okay. This is the format of the output how it is appearing and I want this similar format. I will come to the if activity and simply write result. So it's a boolean. If it is true, then then what I want, I will use assign activity. And in the assign activity, let us create another variable called test output, you know, to store that as a string variable. Okay. Now here, let us write that expression that we have just copied. Now, if it is true, it should say verification passed. Okay, verification passed. The expression, whatever the expression for that activity that you have, right? So that expression, this is a manual task, like a bit of manual task, you know, to copy the expression if you want it. If not, it you can create a workflow and you know invoke that. So here I'm writing the expression. So this has to be written in double code. Okay. Uh, so wherever you have a double quote, remove that with replace that with a single quote. So this is exact output will get verification passed, returned true. So I am hard coding it. This is the alternative way of doing things. So here I have, if it is true, then it will say verification passed and that verification. So under each verification activity, you have to put this. So you can copy paste once created it's easy to copy paste. Okay. So now. If fails in the L section, let's copy paste this assign activity. Okay. And here all I will do is simply say it failed. And the similar logic might have been written while building that activity behind the scene. Okay. This returned false. So you are simply creating on your workflow. So once this uh, if activity is created, right, then you can copy paste to other expressions and slightly change the uh, expression, whatever is written for that. So I've done this if activity and inside that I've written two assign activities and written passed and failed and passed the exact message. Now let's say I would like to log. So what I will do, I'll simply uh, you know, print it, let's say message box, I'll use a message box. And I'll print this test output. Now let's copy this, paste it here. Okay. Now everything is done. Now if I'm going to run this activity, 
So by now, uh, what I have done is I have commented out this output variable. So it is going to fail. So if I run this, okay. So what happened? You can see the the message box is now showing the exact message. Verification failed. The expression output. This is not a leap year. Returned false. So simply we have created a workflow to carry that to a variable. So done. Now let me pass this. In case you are not able to understand what I'm exactly doing here. This is how the in the very first video I have created the same logic, which is getting the output variable value here. I'm passing some value. This is not a leap year in the else activity. Okay. So I've enabled that. It will come here. The output variable will have that. So here the expression will become true. Now if it is true, it will say verification passed. Okay, now you can see it has logged verification passed, and so our variable has got the value verification passed the expression. So exactly you have to slightly create your own workflow like this. This is one of the way to do it. There are also multiple different ways you can think of. So thank you guys for watching. If this video has helped you, please do not forget to give it a like.